All right, let's get started. How's your session? Good? I know, real short, but we got a, we have about an hour and then we'll send you on a longer break and then you have one thing to do in the afternoon. Um, and then you have work in your schools tomorrow. Uh, which I know there's a lot to do. All right, we're gonna finish this morning up with teacher eval. I wanna talk to you about the proposed teacher evaluation system. I mean, it's just good to talk about what we expect our teachers and what are the right metrics. It's a big debate in our country uh, what the right metrics are. It's a big debate about uh, whether or not we should use teacher achieve, or student achievement results and student surveys, what percentage, all of that. It's a big debate whether or not we should compensate teachers differently, all that. The research is clear, we talked about it this morning, we as a profession do need to do something different than what we've been doing. What it is, uh, there is good research to, to guide us and some of that you're gonna see in a minute. But I can't talk about teacher evaluations and, and metrics without showing you one of my favorite clips. You may have seen it before, um, but it is from Moneyball. Try to determine the, the, uh, the key line from this movie clip. I like guys like that. They got a little hair on their ass. Man. He looks like a man or a maid, quite frankly. He's got a baseball body. Matty, who do you got? I like Geronimo. Yes. Okay. This guy's an athlete, big, fast, talented. Top of my list. Clean cut, good face. Yeah, good job. Five tool guys. Good looking ball player. Can he hit? Yeah, he's got a beautiful swing, right, Barry? The ball explodes off his back. He throws the club head at the ball, and when he connects, it he drives it, it pops off the bat. You can hear it all over the ballpark. A lot of pop coming off the bat. And if he's a good hitter, why doesn't he hit good? He is a good hitter. Minor leaguer. He'll be, he'll be ready. Yeah, so he's going to be a good hitter when we put him up against big league guards. Could be a great hitter. I don't think so. This kid this needs some at bats. If you give him 400 at bats, he's going to get better. He can play. He's hit everywhere along the line. One of our guys. Okay, let's move on. So what's the phrase? Yeah. If he said you could hit it, why can't he hit good? All right. Who do you want to talk about first? None of them. Billy, we got 38 home runs and 120 RBIs. Guys, we're couple. still trying to replace Giambi. I told you we can't do it. We can't do it. Now, what we might be able to do is recreate him. We create him in the aggregate. The what? Giambi's on base percentage was 477. Damon's on base, 324. And Almeida's was 291. Add that up and you get Come on, Mr. Sweep. Went up one year, yeah. 1092. Divided by three. 364. That's what we're looking for. Three ball players, three ball players whose average OBP is 364. That doesn't look right, doesn't come out right. That's right. Billy? You gotta carry the one right now. Billy. Yeah. Who's that? That's Pete. Does Pete really need to be here? Yes, he does. Okay, here's who we want. Number one, Jason's little brother, Jeremy. Oh, uh, Billy, that's trouble. Uh, Billy, look, if, if I, yeah, Billy, if I may, uh, he certainly has had his problems off the field. We know that what he can't do on the field. He's uh, getting a little thicker on the waist. Yeah. Well, and his reports about him on the weed and the strip clubs. Well, his on-base percentage is all we're looking at now. And Jeremy gets on base an awful lot for a guy who only costs 285000 Jeez, Billy. Number two. David Justice. Oh, no. Billy is Not a good idea, Billy. Old man Justice. Why is that? Steinbrenner's so pissed at his decline that he's willing to eat a big chunk of his contract just to get rid of him. Anybody exactly. Ten years ago, David Justice, big name. 
been a lot of big games. He's going to really help our season tickets early in the year. But we get in the dog days in July and August. He's but lucky if he's going to hit his weight. Billy, his, his legs yeah. are gone. Billy, uh, he's a defensive liability, and I question whether the bat speed's still there. His legs are gone. Great. We'll be lucky to get 60 games out of him. Why do you like him? Because he gets on base. What do we do? Okay, number three. Scott Hatterberg. Who? Hatterberg. Exactly. Hatterberg. Sounds like an Oakland A already. Okay. Yes, he's had a little problem with his elbow. Oh, problem. He can't throw. He's got he's a career 260 hitter. The best part of his career is over. I say it's just getting started. I know Boston wants to cut him, and no one wants to pick him up. That's good for us. He's cheap. Let me get this. Let me get this straight. You're going to get a guy that's been released by half the organizations of professional baseball because he's got non-repairable nerve damage in his elbow, and he can't throw. He can't throw and he can't feel. But what can he do? Guys, check the reports or I'm going to point at you. He gets on base. He can get on base. So he walks a lot. He gets on base a lot. Rocco, do I care if it's a walk or a hit? Pete? You do not. I do not. Well, they have 37 free agents that are better than those three guys. Wait a minute, let me get this straight. So, you're not going to bring in one but three defective players to replace Jim. Is that what I'm hearing? You're not buying into this Bill James bullshit, are you? This is the new direction of the Oakland A's. We are card counters at the blackjack table. And we're going to turn the odds on the casino. Uh, I don't see it. Seriously, guys, I think. All right, that's a good film clip. Uh, more defective teachers is what we need. Um, Lest you get that impression, talk to your neighbor. What do you get out of this clip? What do you get out of this clip? <laughs>